Hi everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and today I'm going to show you how to roast Napa Valley balsamic and brown sugar butternut squash. This is a gorgeous butternut squash that we actually grew ourselves this past season and Mum has just basically cut it in half, washed it and cut it in half, cut the top off because you can't really cut through that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make four servings of this side dish and I'm cutting those that one half into quarters. So there's the quarters. This affords you a, still a little cup to hold your butter and your brown sugar and stuff and uh, it's going to be absolutely delicious. So what we've done is just washed it. Don't even have to peel the outside. In fact, I keep the outside on. You're going to scoop out those seeds. Now keep these seeds either to roast for snacks or keep them to propagate for your garden this next season, which is usually what we do. Then you're going to take your knife and you're just going to cut right through the center of that to make your four individual servings. Now, these are rather large servings. Um, if you want to cut these in half again, feel free to do so, but um, it's easy to roast them this way, so I, I would just leave them and then cut them and serve them accordingly. Okay. I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees right now. These guys are gonna take roughly 45 minutes to an hour to um, soften all the way through. You're gonna make sure that they are cooked until knife tender. So you're just gonna take a nice sharp little knife and you're gonna poke it in there and make sure that the flesh is tender. That's when we're gonna really start seasoning things up with the brown sugar and the butter and the balsamic. But in the meantime, I need to get these guys greased up with a little bit of oil. I'm using olive oil today, but you may use whatever kind of oil you have on hand or you prefer, or or is suggested for your diet, your particular own diet. So just grease those up a little bit. They just need to be lightly coated. I do the front, uh, um, the inside, and I do the skin as well. Using your hands, they're the best tools you have. Makes things go fast. All right, so a little bit of sea salt. I'm going to add some freshly ground pepper. When squash roasts up, it um, kind of caramelizes the sugars in there. So the pepper is a nice play off of sh the sugar. And I'm also going to add a little bit of spice with some cayenne pepper, very simple spice. Just a whisper. And into the oven they go. I'm gonna check them in roughly 30 minutes just to make sure all is well. Um, sometimes things cook faster than other days. It just depends on the, the amount of water that's in them and things like that, okay? So in they go, this is what they look like, and they're gonna go. Now, get your butter, a little bit of butter prepared, some brown sugar out, and I'm gonna use this awesome barrel-aged balsamic vinegar. This is from Napa Valley Vinegar Company, and you can check them out online at winecountrykitchens.com. They have this one and a whole line of this, these beautiful uh, balsamics. Now, this is the barrel-aged, the, the original. The other ones have beautiful fruit flavors, fruit puree, in fact, added to them. Uh, this is a very high quality balsamic from Modena, Italy. It's the highest quality you can get. And it comes out like a nice thick syrup. So all balsamics aren't created alike. Some are very liquidy, like other vinegars you may be thinking about. But this is like a maple syrup. And it's going to just kind of go on there. It's nice and sweet and full of flavor. So check them out. You're going to love them. And you're going to see how I'm going to use it in a little while. So we'll see you as soon as these guys are nice and knife tender. I think these squash are done. Beautiful. They look gorgeous. I guess I should show them to you. Let's test and see if they're done. Yep. Sharp knife right to the center. It comes out uh, easily. goes in easily. All right. So there they go. They look beautiful. Yes. Now's the fun part. We get to dress them up. Turn your oven onto a broil. These guys are completely cooked through, so we don't need to continue. You could also do this and put it back in the oven to finish baking for the last 10 or 15 minutes, but we're gonna fast track this. So I have a little trick for you. This is what I use. Now, I want all of these beautiful flavors to kind of seep into the squash. So I'm actually gonna poke some holes periodically throughout the flesh, just to give it a little pathway into the squash a little bit further than just sitting on the top. There you go. Do that on all of them. You don't want to hack it up. You just want to give it a chance to seep in. You could use a fork as well. Don't poke all the way through that skin, just into the flesh. Now we're ready. I have some butter that's soft. I'm just going to use a basting brush to sort of get that on here. All over. Put that all over. 
using a brush really makes it a lot easier to coat everything. If you're using a knife, it can get a little difficult. Plus, it's very hot, so you don't want to touch it with your fingers either. Let that kind of seep in while we're getting ready everything else. Oh, it smells so delicious already. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to sprinkle some brown sugar all over it. And this is going to kind of, you know, make a little way for the balsamic to kind of sit on here too, because you've got the wet and, uh, with the butter, you've got the dry with this brown sugar that's going to get soaked up, and then the balsamic will have a little bit more structure to kind of sit on it and absorb through. So let's get that brown sugar all over as much as you like, or as little. We like a lot. And this is gonna caramelize up on the squash, as if the squash wasn't already sweet uh, all by itself roasting like this. This is really gonna enhance flavors. It's gonna kind of give that autumny winter feel flavor you're looking for. Okay, there's our brown sugar. Now I am going to just kind of drizzle the balsamic on top of this. You're gonna see how thick and beautiful that is and just kind of drizzle that all over. It doesn't have to be completely covered, but you could just baste it alongside with the butter. Don't drown it in it. This is an enhancing flavor. Now I'm just gonna kind of spread that balsamic all out and also mix it in with that butter that's kind of pooling in the little cup where the seeds were. Oh yeah, just baste it all over. This looks phenomenal. Ooh, I can't wait to try this. This smells amazing, I can't wait to eat this. This is a beautiful fresh take on roasting uh, squash or pumpkin. You could even use this tactic with sweet potatoes that you roast. Gorgeous, let me show you. Look at that, oh my goodness. And you have a little, um, the cup there. Why don't we just fill that with just a hint more butter in each one of those. If you went to all the trouble to grow these yourself, you would doctor them up in a luxurious way. Okay, under the broiler they're gonna go, but I want you to watch them. You don't want them to burn. This could happen really quickly because there's lots of sugar things going on here. So keep your eye open, peeled. Uh, leave your oven door ajar so you can peek in it, okay? So one or two minutes, you just want it to start to kind of brown and get a little bit bubbly. These are gorgeous. Two minutes under the broiler and they are done. They have a beautiful charred effect. I love burnt marshmallows and that kind of gives you a little bit of that flavor if you can see that. Oh, perfect, perfectly done. Now let's carefully pick these guys up so that you keep all that gorgeous liquid inside the cups of each of these pieces and serve it on a platter. And you also maybe want to serve that with a little extra drizzle for everybody of balsamic vinegar. You can let them do it themselves. What a lovely, lovely side dish. Wow, impressive. Beautiful, look at that. Oh, they are absolutely glorious. So let me try one of these. Just move it very carefully. Yum. And there's my beautiful piece of squash. Look at that. Oh, I can hardly wait. Here we go. All that flavor is all deep down in here. Mmm. That's so good. Mmm. This may be Yum. your go-to for butternut squash every time you cook it in the future. <laughs> this is really delicious. The balsamic has kind of just caramelized up. The sugars are concentrated with the brown sugar and the butter. You just can't go wrong. Mmm. Mmm. The squash is light and fluffy. It's perfectly tender. Look at that little bit of char. It's glistening from the sugars. And that is so good. Mmm. Mmm. Also, the shape of them is kind of a conversation piece as well. You don't usually get something that large on your plate. And it's beautiful. Bright color. Mmm. Man, you're gonna love this. I really hope you try out this recipe. It's outstanding. Make sure you check out winecountrykitchens.com for this fantastic vinegar and their whole line of balsamics with beautiful fruity flavors. In fact, any one of those flavors would have also been really delicious on this particular recipe. 
Oh, you've got to try that. And that's how you do it, folks. That's how you roast Napa Valley balsamic and brown sugar butternut squash. Say that 10 times fast, right? That's it. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E, like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly, YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. You can find my channel on Roku Cooking with Kimberly, and I'm also syndicated on Apple TV. Come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world, all right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.